Hello again, and welcome back uh, to the character design for video games, uh, the, for designing the non-player characters. Uh, it, right now, we are going to begin uh, going over the, the sketch process. Uh, we're going to start uh, just uh, throwing down just a couple of uh, different ideas and, and go through and thumbnail out uh, different ideas for, for the base uh, for our character. Uh, so, uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new file. Uh, I, I tend to work uh, larger. I, I'll, I'll have a slightly more elevated uh, resolution and pixel size. It just lets me zoom in and get tight. You know, even though these are just going to be sketches and just they're just going to be you know meh thumbnails, it's still uh, that's that's how I enjoy working. So so again, just press OK. Actually, let's go ahead and name our file. This is Goblin Minion. Boom. And there we go. So now. Uh, now we have our file. I'll go ahead and uh, and dock it to to Photoshop, and we're going to go ahead and just start sketching. So right now I've got a uh, a blank background. Let's create a new layer. Uh, creating a new layer, you can either do it a handful of ways. You can go layer, new, layer, bleh, and there's that. And then you can also do it through the layers uh, the layers panel. You just click this little button, and you have a new layer. I prefer to do a little bit, little bit different. I use uh, hotkeys. Why? So I don't have to touch the keyboard at all. So I don't have to do any of that. So I use Command, uh, Command Shift N, and I have a new, I have a new layer. Boom, new layer. So now let's pick a brush. I just have a uh, tapered brush, just a regular, you know, sketching brush. Undo that. Press D for black and white, and let's go ahead and start sketching. So uh, we're going to be making uh, goblin minions. So just you know, kind of these these funky little little gross creatures that that were, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, you know, just something something that is going to be uh, cannon fodder for our players uh, to mow down. Just something for for players to, to just hack to bits so so the whole point is you know not just designing you know, a character but designing an interesting character someone that that players are really going to enjoy you know having the opportunity to just you know chop up over and over and over again so so we'll play with a, a couple of different you know you know standard standard designs uh, going through going through you know these these initial designs and going through all these different thumbnails uh, lets lets you uh, lets you just kind of like uh, f you know get all the get all the cotton out of your head just like just let all the let all the garbage just you know come to the surface get out of the way that way we can just get to the to the to the real to the good stuff so you know again I want to play with uh, some really you know classic themes for for the goblins. You know, additionally, into designing the the body type, I want to design. Uh, I'm looking at, at at different poses. Something something that I can put together that will that will be you know easy enough to convey to to the art team. Uh, like, look, this is this is what we got. You know, this is going to be this is going to be you know cool to look at. You know, something that's uh, you know. Not just engaging for the player, but you know something that is also you know along the lines of of what your your uh, character's brief is. So your art director will give you uh, give you a list of instructions and, and goals that that are meant to be uh, accomplished uh, with this character. And so so yeah, you know you just go you don't you know always have free reign to do uh, to do whatever you want. You have you have guidelines that you need to that you need to stay within because that's those are the rules, um, you know. But just because just because that's you know that's there, and you have you have the the brief to to adhere to, you know, it doesn't doesn't limit your 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 creativity. You you can you know let what say let's say you you come up with an idea like you know for this one like you know all these other ones they've been these bipedal you know goblins. But what if what if we don't? What if he's this like you know quadruped you know goblin? 
so that that he moves they all move like like spiders just like scuttling about and then like like you could present that idea to to the art team and and, and to your art director and it'd be like whoa that's a great idea well let's let's go with that that sound that sounds really cool and you can have you know like weapons on his back you know whatever and just have like this like little monster just kind of like you know just scuttling along like imagine these things like you know in a cave somewhere you're just coming across these things on there like climbing on the walls and it's just like what is that so these little goblin cockroach things um then so you know again typically all the classic designs for goblins they're these skinny little bleh things well what if we what if we make them you know what if we get make them heavier you give them like some some meaty arms you give them some meaty arms that they're like used to used to club with uh but again like they've got these little kind of like stumpy little ape legs and so they they move they move with their with their fists you know and not so much their with their legs so they're like little like simian goblin things so again these are all these are all different ideas uh to to put forth so you don't you don't ever know you know what what your art art director you know what what they're what they're gonna like like they could they could end up liking you know some new idea or they might just go with with the classic theme you know it's 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 always up to them but uh but why limit yourself why limit yourself to just you know one idea when you can have you know this this avalanche of ideas uh, you never know what you're going to find until until you do it. So, so again, we'll go through that. Uh, oh, again, if he if he's walking on fists, what if we give him like like you know big claw on one hand? Like that could be a weapon. So he's got you know claw fist, claw fist the goblin. And then so that's that's another idea. Uh, okay, again, what if we play with play with the weight you know a bit? And we make them these little, you know, portly little, you know, <laughs> obese goblins. So they're just they they got a they got a belly, and they've got you know kind of stumpy arms. There we go, there we go. So just give them give them a big belly. I'm a goblin. Little little ears, but then we'll give him a big old mace. So he's got a big mace that he could be walking around with. And then okay, let's see. Uh okay, well let's try let's try something else. What if we make him, you know, uh a little less humanoid, we make him more more insect like. Like he's a like he's an ant, you know, it's this guy goblin ant thing. So he's got you know, give him give him like horns on his head. Give him little demony horns, but then again, playing with the with the quadruped kind of kind of pose. And you know, play with just like different things, like making you know, what if we gave like you know hooks at the end of ends of his body? Just kind of play with that idea a bit. Okay, and then uh, let's go. Like, what if we make them, uh, you know, a little bit like, let's say, let's say these goblins, uh, they work out, they they lift weights. So we'll give them again, play with play with musclier arms, you know, a tapered waist, but not so ape like this time. We give them so they're they're muscly and strong, but still dumb because they're goblins. But at the same time, these you know, muscly kind of, kind of, goblins, that'd be that'd be pretty terrifying. You see, you see, you know, scores of these things, you know, coming at you, and uh, you'd be like, um, I'm gonna think twice about uh, about wanting to to fight these guys. But we have to fight them for the sake of the kingdom. So play with that oh let's see we'll give him we'll give this guy like a like a jagged sword like just pieces of metal that he found lying around and he turned it into a sword ah, jagged sword blah 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 okay let's see let's do let's do some more okay what next so we played with a couple of different themes i like the idea of the of the horned the horned goblin so let's let's play with that you know a little bit more so we'll give him uh give this guy some horns 
little beady eyes. Ooh, just these little creepy little squinty eyes. And it's a big gob. Oh, I'll just give him a big gob. Just like when he opens his mouth, he's like, this screaming goblin. So play with that. And, and again. Classic. Have him have him hunched over. Like he walks like you know <laughs> like he walks with his knees bent. Like old man Terwilliger. Hey, get off my lawn, you kids. So let's see, how about we give him you know an axe. In fact, we'll give him two axes. <laughs> get off my lawn. And then maybe another one. Another one we'll play with. You know, making a large head. Little stumpy arms. Like he's in a snowsuit. And stumpy legs. But he's got big feet. Why are my feet so big? I don't know. So again. But this one's got knives. These little pokey goblins with, with knives. You know, adorable or not, you know, anything with knives coming at you is always scary. <laughs> Just like, oh, look at him. I want to give him a hug. Oh, my God, he's killing me. So again, just a bunch of a bunch of different ideas uh, to play with. Uh, we've got let's see how many is that? That's a lot. <laughs> well, let's play with one more. Let's go with one more different design. Let's see. Uh, I liked the idea of of this guy, and this is the other thing. Like as you're as you're going through all these different designs, uh, you'll you'll realize that that you're finding things that you like. Like, uh, you know, I really do, even though this was the first one that I drew, I like the big ears, and I, and I like the pose. This is kind of like menacing pose coming at you of, uh, of this guy with the sword. Um, I do like, I do like this kind of like quadruped uh, approach to, uh, to the goblins. Um, but I, I really do enjoy this kind of squinty eyed thing. So let's kind of, let's kind of bring those all, those all together. So let's jump back in there, zooming in. And okay, so now let's see. We'll try, try this. We'll give him again squinty, squinty eyes, just like you've wronged my family. And let's give him some, some little hooked teeth coming out of there. But we'll give him a stumpy kind of like pug nose, pug nose instead of long ones. But we'll give him big ears. And okay, play with with that. Make him make him hunched over like he's gonna come at you. There we go. But I like I like the idea of giving him two toes rather than a full set of toes. Like, you can either make him look like, you know, oh, you could do that, where he's got, he's supposed to have three toes, but he had his big toe cut off, because that's the thing that, that his clan does. Like, they're the they're the no big toe clan. You know, and that's something else to, to consider. You know, as you're, as you're coming up with these different designs, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, highly encouraged to come up with with backstories as you're as you're drawing these guys. You know, just give them give them all a reason to exist. Like, don't just like draw. Oh, blah blah blah. Here's a here's a you know goblin. What do you think? Like, no, this is a goblin from a clan where they chop off the big toe of all the firstborn goblin children. Like, why do they do that? Because that's what they do. And uh, oh, and then their their swords. You know, like their their rusted metal swords that have been handed down from generations, but it has their big toe dangling off the end of it. Oh my God! <laughs> so just all these all these different things that you can do, you know, that that give that give your characters life and personality and make them more interesting to to look at and and again just more more interesting to to present to your art director. So uh, here we have different uh, ten different designs, and uh, when we come back, we're going to uh, the art director will have looked over these things and uh, and have chosen will have chosen one uh, to to move on to the next stages.